Halen Clark is arguably the most dynamic shooter in women's basketball today. Clark gets away with a little push. Fall away, buries it. Her deep shot making ability and her ability to finish at the rim make her a very unique player, and her game looks real similar to Steph Curry. Curry for three. Yes, sir. She leads the WNBA in shots made past 30 feet, and you have to defend her everywhere on the floor. But what is it about her shot? that allows her to sink a 35 footer with a hand in her face off the dribble. Let's get into it. My name is Dr. Sean Hiller. I'm a physical therapist and a certified strength conditioning specialist. Welcome to the Vulcan blog. And today we are going to dissect Caitlin Clark's shot and see why she is so special. First off, Caitlin Clark does not have textbook shooting form. While her shot is not as far off as Sean Marion's. Shots. Very job helping out. Marion from the corner. And that shot put through. It's more like Ray Allen. James catches, puts up the three. Won't go. Rebound, box. Back out to Allen. History part of Bang! Huge three to tie this game. Right, he backed up. He backed up behind that line. He's backing up as he catches the pass and then comes right back into the shot. What a roller coaster ride here in the fourth quarter. He was one of the best shooters to ever play the game. And since he's one of the best shooters to ever play the game, that doesn't mean you have to have textbook shooting form to be a good shooter. Maybe having perfect shooting form isn't as important as some other factors. We believe that that's the case with Caitlin Clark. Caitlin has a left phase jump shot, meaning that she doesn't have the ball close to her dominant side of her body, but she brings the ball slightly over the left side of her body. This changes the mechanics of her shot from a fluid pocket shooter like Steph Curry to a more dynamic and plyometric shot. Is this a problem though? Obviously not, she's doing fine. Players who do this tend to shoot less consistently. They're known for having some big nights where they can't miss and then having nights where they're really cold because it's more of a plyometric movement. It's not a fluid rhythmic shot. However, we will argue that shooting like this has made Caitlin Clark the player she is today and it shaped her game to play a particular way because she's bringing the ball over the left side of her body. So if you look at Caitlin Clark's game from the beginning, she has a really strong right hand. She tends to finish with her right hand at the rim a lot. She drives with her right. Her left hand doesn't seem as strong. So you would think defenders would be able to give her her left side and really just take away her right hand. The problem is that when you do that, she has this killer step back, three pointer from all the way back at half court when she's going to the left. So they cannot give her her left range, her left driving lane. Because if Caitlin Clark had a more fluid shooting form and she did that step back and had to come from here, she's right in the space where they can stop her and they can defend that. But because when she steps back, she pulls that ball over the left side of her body, she's creating more distance from herself and the athlete. Now we have to ask the question, is this the ideal shooting form? We talked about this a minute ago. Probably not, but the fact that she's shooting this way and she's so good at it, she is able to produce a game revolving around the shot that she has. It's really special. So Caitlin's really strong at driving to the lane with her right hand. She can make a dribble move off the left if she needs to, to get back to the right, but she's not trying to finish with her left hand at the rim. She's trying to stay on her right side, but defenders cannot give her her left because she's so good at getting that little step back jumper to the left. So her whole game is revolved around her shot. Now, one of the things that happens whenever you are pulling the ball across like this is it becomes far more of a plyometric effect. When we're doing our Steph Curry shot, everything's very fluid. It's up, it's down, it's all one motion. So you really don't have to worry about any break in the shot. That's ideal. The best shooters of all time, Steph Curry being the prime example, does this. For Caitlin Clark, however, when she goes to shoot, she has this broken point and then a shot. She makes it look far more fluid than that, more like, like that. Because when she's coming up and phasing to the left, the shot has no other option than to be a plyometric shot, very similar to a box jump or just the jump that I just did right here. It's not as fluid. That's gonna affect her consistency, but she's able to overcome that by sheer will, determination, athletic ability, and practice. The girl has put in the hours at the gym and she is solid with the form that she has at getting that little step back jumper to the left. So her whole game is revolved around her shot. So how do you defend Caitlin Clark? I don't know. She's hitting 35 footers going to the left. This is one of the toughest shots in the game and she's able to nail it. If she was missing this shot, 
she'd be a lot easier to defend. In fact, I don't know if we would know the name of Caitlin Clark because it's so easy to defend. She got some athletic skills, but nothing like she does if she's not sinking these Steph Curry S shots. So ideally, we don't want to pull the ball over the left side of our body. It contorts this kind of funny. It makes the shot less symmetrical. We want to have it pulled up, everything squared away over our dominant shooting hand. If you're left-handed, it's gonna be over the left side, right-handed, right side. Is this a major problem? Look at the greatest basketball players of all time. Michael Jordan did not have a textbook shooting for him. He had a beautiful shot. He left his elbow hanging a little bit more bent. Ray Allen, one of the greatest shooters of all time, had almost no rotation on the ball. So you can be an amazing shooter, one of the best players of all time, and not have textbook form. Bottom line is there's things far more important than textbook form. But those are the biomechanics of Caitlin Clark's shot. That is how her game operates. In fact, I would argue that all of her game is based around her ability to make that step back to the left three-point shot. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe for our channel, ring the bell, and they'll notify you when we put other videos out like this. We hope it's very helpful for you and good luck on all your shooting endeavors.